Welcome champions. I am here today. I'm going to do a normal gauntlet blitz using just Natalia uh, in a way that I was shown to minimize the amount of HP needed to complete this and it also minimizes for point wise the amount of uh, blitz tickets you have to use. Well, anyway, you set up your moves. This is your three that you start with, your sharpshooter, the snap suplex, and the driver. Having Natalia unleveled at level one. Let's take and level up the running clothesline, which is the steel health move. Okay, then with all your level one moves, you join the, with just her, the normal gauntlet blitz. Then once you go into the actual match, you go to manage moves, running clothesline, equip it. Replace the snap suplex with it. It's very important to have the sharpshooter. You could either leave the snap suplex up there or the driver, either one. Uh, I find the driver's a little better because it allows you to get to the bows if you don't get purple matches a little quicker. Okay. And you go into battle. A very important strategy to this is that you get both purple set up. Oh, red ring, red ring. Okay, Natalia versus Alexa Bliss. Okay. Oh, I forgot to say you have Woods as the trainer for, for her. I forgot to show that, and I'll show that after this match. Because that is important. It allows you to get your purple matches faster. Okay, let's see. No purple matches. Oh, there's a red match. We'll take the red match. She should have took the blue match, but that's fine. Still no purple matches. No red. Oh, well, let's take out her blue Okay, now, as you see, both are open. My running clothesline takes and steals 1,600 health, only has 1,200, so that'll put it to zero and bring my health all the way back up. And the reason you want the finisher on there is, as you can see, the, the pin meter is right in the middle. I don't have any way to pin get a multi a cascade to pinner so having the finisher set up ends the match and I'm at full health now That was a decent board. Let's see if we can get one that has... Ooh, trampoline. I need those. Uh, oh. Uh, I need shoes more, but trampolines work too. Uh, let's see if there's any way to get a... Let's see if we get a board that's not uh, good or one that is very good. Okay, page. Oh, yeah, I was going to show you. Manage. Go to your entourage. As you see, I've got woods. Not quite to the full 5,000, but gives me three extra moves.
And if you watch, you'll notice that at no point does, does any of the people I face get above 305, I think it is. Definitely none of them get above 310. Okay, let's see here. We got a purple match. Uh, I'm going to have to go with the purple match. If I don't get a board here pretty soon that has a... That's a bad board. I'll have to make one that's a bad board. By not taking the specific matches I need. So I can show you how well this works even when you get a board that's not working for you. Uh, I know I should talk more, but I don't want to bore you with, oh, I got to take this match or this match. Okay, let's see here. Okay, Charlotte on natural selection is next. The bad thing about doing it this way is your point, the amount of points you get and t amount of time is less but the amount of points you get for the blitz for the amount of tickets you spend is more because okay it's 250 tickets to do a hard match that's two and a half times the amount okay you get 600 points for completing the normal mode you get 1250 for completing hard that's just over twice as much. The amount of blitz tickets is two and a half times as much. So for that to be equal, that would have to be about 1,500. Okay, so let's go back here to this. Go. That and then you also got the fact that you're not using any resources with this. I'd have to use no uh, health packs or anything like that. I had to use a little bit of TP to get the uh, the purple health steel move up. Okay, on this one I'm going to go as if these purple matches aren't there. Because I am, unless I have to take one, but I'm going, I'm going to go as if there is no purple matches to show you that this is still viable even with a board that you don't get any decent, uh, you don't get any matches on. Okay, but it looks like they're going to make this a little bit difficult for me to do that. So I got to take a purple match. Which will give me my next turns ready for the combo. Okay, now as you see, it's ready again. Use the health steal. And do the finish. Which doesn't matter what ones you pick because they're already at zero health.
it's really too bad that this doesn't work as well for the hard because then you get more keys and more uh, faction points and more points as well towards the individual event. Okay, Charlotte Flair, Second Nature. Okay, and as you can see, I've not lost any health so far. I haven't used any props. Still running fairly strong on this. Also, please forgive the length of the loading and such with this because, again, I'm using my phone to do this at this point. At some point, I got to figure out how to do the different things for getting for setting up things onto YouTube. Okay, even as long as they kick out, you lose, you will end up losing no health. Okay. Now, do the health steal. And, and then the sharpshooter. And the, at the end of the match. Another good thing about doing it like this is you get your maximum amount of loot gems, which unfortunately on that one didn't make any matches, but maximizes your chance for matches in the loot gems. Okay, Ronda Rousey. I'm about five out of nine matches. I'm sorry if this is a long video. Might be boring. Uh, not the best commentary yet. I'm still working and developing this. Oh, I like some of these screens because they show what the game was like when it first started. Uh, I'm fairly new at this still. I'm not even six months into the game. Uh, I haven't spent a ton of money on it. My main thing is I've spent on the VIP. And just doing the best I can in some in these events. Eventually here my wife will wake up and you'll hear her come out and say, Who are you talking to? And I'll have to tell her I'm making a video. Okay, the, use the running clothesline, time for the sharpshooter. Okay, skip, come on. Okay, we're at 
That was the fifth one. We got six, seven, eight, and nine. Four more matches. I'm trying to make these as quick as I can. I know this takes about a half hour to run this, so. Okay, who's next? Natalia is next. Okay, Natalia versus Natalia. Oh, I didn't get all my health back on that one. Okay. That was, that was weird. Uh, okay, that's... I know she didn't do over 700 points of damage, I don't think. Oh, we'll see. Okay, purple. Okay, she should go. Sometimes their choice of what ones they go after amazes me. I'll take this red. Okay. Red and yellow and green. That made sense. Okay. I need one more purple. Let's see. So I got to make a, another match. Let's take out its yellow. The computer's yellow. Oh, they pinned me. Okay, so kick out of the pin. Now, 1700 should definitely get me back up to full. Let's see, even when they've done a significant amount of damage. I still end up with the wind, all ten loot boxes. And again, skip. Can I go against Aska? The same could be done if you have Naomi uh, unleveled, leveling up her uh, heal move, and then uh, or, and uh, using that to go through this. Okay, battle, 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 battle. Uh. But most people don't have Naomi on level because of the event last month with getting her and being able to level her up pretty much for fairly free. This one should be a fairly quick one with a four match at the beginning. Well, Aska and that rump bump can start making things relatively unfun quickly. However, I won't make it to that point again because I had that format right at the beginning. There's the clothesline, followed by sharpshooter. Doesn't matter if you grab enough gems again because they're already at zero health and it's an automatic tap.
Okay. Skip. Some TP, which is always useful, especially with the way the TP events have been going for the, the, in this month. Needing uh, 2,400 TP to complete it to get the present at the end, the faction present at the end. Okay, Nia Jax. Again, as you can see, I'm at 100% health. Got two matches to go. Okay. Now, here we go. Here's a board that is very unfriendly to what I am trying to do. Luckily, I've got a uh, five match, which will allow a at least a extra turn. Okay, still no purple match. There's a red match, but I don't know if I want to go with that. Or if I want to take this green match at the bottom left to destroy that whole row. Because uh, that'll give me an extra purple, which I think that's what I'll do. Plus it gives me the purple there that went off in a little mini cascade. Okay, she'll kick out of this easily. It's only 300 and some odd points. She'll get her move. And now I use the steel health move, which again will wipe her life out. And then I use the sharpshooter. Pick three gems and just end the match. Okay, one match left. Let's see if I can continue this with 100% health. Okay, last match against Sasha Banks, legit dead boss. Okay. Again, as you've seen, I haven't used any props. Not that I have a lot of props to use. Okay. Okay, here, let's see. We have a, one purple match, one red match. And of course, I'm going to take the purple match because that's what is best for my strategy here. Okay, no purple, no red. There's a green match there that to try to keep the green from her from getting one of her matches. Okay, again, no purple match, so that leaves me this red match. Okay, next turn. So now the next turn, I use the running clothesline, get a little bit of health I've lost back. Use the finisher, and again, it doesn't matter where you put them to end the match. And that's how you go through the blitz with 
100% health. Now, if by some chance you have Natalia unleveled and uh, three other unleveled uh, female superstars, then you could do this in the hard, just give Natalia's uh, clothesline the steel health move leveled up. Keep it away from the thing while you're keep it out of your main use. Say 100% HP left. All nine matches won. So, and that's how you do that match.